how do I get this thing to stop loading? Hi, welcome to Second Time Around, the show where I participate in certain forms of media again. For Second Time Around. It's the holiday season, which means, one, I'm broke, two, it's cold, and three, I don't know what to buy anyone. No one warns you about the precipitate of fear and anxiety that comes along with being old enough to buy other people presents. And not just being able to, but having the obligatory responsibility to buy them. And not just one time, but every year, for as long as you know this person. And the more people you meet, the more people you have to buy for, and then you end up exponentially having to buy more and more gifts every year, until the gradual flattening of this gift buying curve becomes a plateau, as the amount of new people you meet is cancelled out by the amount of people you know that have died, or moved as a reminder of not only the fallibility of life, but of the innate impermanence of joy itself as a hallmark of an annual celebratory social construct. But anyways, enough about Happy Honda Days. It's time to talk about Christmas. I really enjoy Christmas. And not for the religious sentiment or the consumerism, but for the camp. Christmas is camp as hell. The colors are shiny, bold, if not a little bit gaudy. Everything is tacky. People compete with each other over decorative sweaters like they're birds in a courtship mating ritual. Groups of strangers will go door to door singing random songs when they know that we can just hit play on a Christmas themed Spotify playlist. People's entire houses are covered in strings of lights that serve no greater function than to just look that way. In Susan Sontag's essay, Notes on Camp, she writes that indeed the essence of camp is in its love of the unnatural, of artifice and exaggeration. And that's absolutely fucking Christmas for me. It's not about love or commonality, but of personal expression. So wildly provocative that if the cold famine-inducing months of winter were to kill you tomorrow, at least you would have nonetheless gone out with a bang. And really, if you think about it, that's kind of the point of Christmas and, you know, all the other winter holidays. It's a way of mentally escaping the very real threat of freezing to death. And I guess also as an excuse to make a shit ton of food that no one eats. Why, Why do we do, we do this, this to, to ourselves? ourselves? We make so many casseroles for Christmas. At this point, we don't even have names for them all. It's like white people trying to find a new way to name their kid McKaylee. We will never hit the bottom of the casserole wellspring. We will discover 100% of animal life on Earth before we discover every form of casserole out there. I used to like cooking until I realized that cooking is only one eighth of the effort. The rest is cleaning up after you've cooked. I don't like to clean. I hate cleaning so much. God gave to me the spoils of war and then left all of his dishes in the sink. At the Battle of Milvian Bridge, Constantine the Great looked up at the sun and saw a screenshot from a Discord server that read, God has left the chat. Why do we insist on making so much fucking food when we know the repercussions of our false judgment? Do we torture ourselves on purpose or because of tradition? And what the fuck is tradition anyways? Take several hours of your day to decorate a plastic tree inside of your house with family heirlooms and fragile pieces of glass while a Christmas story lasts for six straight days on TBS. That's tradition. My favorite part about decorations is the Christmas pickle because uh, again, camp, it's a fucking pickle in opposition to these otherwise really pretty ornaments. And don't even get me started on my Christmas pickle rick. We hold our shame as a gatekeeper for the future. You cannot get me further away from a kitchen on the holidays. I will do anything but cook a Christmas food. Oh, you want me to help you make 15 pounds of mashed potatoes? For less than five people? <laughs> Bye. While you were slaving away your entire day over a honey baked ham, I was in the corner making R2-D2 sounds. Who was having a better time, huh? And so if you haven't guessed already from our extensive talk on Christmas cooking, we will be watching a show about food. No, it's, it's not Amy Schumer learns to cook, but maybe one day. No, this time I'm talking about chowder the animation prodigy of the late 2000s Cartoon Network lineup. I was 10 years old when Chowder first premiered, and I watched that show so intensely that I was practically a horticulturalist watching their plants do a TikTok dance in slow motion. Chowder for me had what I call a uh, YouTube poop sense of humor. Some people call it a Gen Z sense of humor, uh, others call it Bimbo Incorporated. However you phrase it, it's a form of comedy that I really enjoy and have enjoyed since I was younger. Whether or not that sense of humor evolved from watching these type of shows, uh, who knows, probably, but I still like them. It was one of those shows that I remember re-watching as a teen 
and finding jokes in it that I didn't notice as a kid. So re-watching it again now as an adult, I feel like I'm bound to find even more jokes that I missed the first time. And, and the, the animation. animation. Chowder was probably known the most for its use of pattern backgrounds and its animation, where the fabric of their clothes or of certain backdrops would stay static. So it looked kind of like parallax scrolling, but for fashion. This really set it aesthetically apart from other cartoons and made it actually interesting to watch uh, just for the visuals alone. It also had puppetry too and occasional live action, so it was a lot of shit. The episode we're watching today is their Christmas special titled Hey Hey, It's Kanishmas, which honestly sounds even better than Christmas, I'm not gonna lie. I haven't watched this since I was like 15, probably, so I, I kind of forget some of their names. I remember Schnitzel, of course, Chowder. I remember Panini specifically because of Little Nas X. Shout out to my boy Nas. The ancient Romans love them some Little Nas 10. Yes, I do the cooking. Yes, I do the cleaning. So let's start the show. Two. Toll House Morsels. Critics are hailing the arrival of the Simpsons. Ho, 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 ho. From all of us at KTSM, AM, FM, and TV. Hey, kids! You may be wondering what I'm doing! No. Well, I'm ice skating! Me, can you believe it? Because it's the most wonderful time of the year in Marzipan City. Tax day! It's all about the magic. Kisses under the gristle toe. Wow. The gift giving. And then there's the legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Hey, mister. Oh, hello, baby, who represents the pure eyes of a child. Look to camera and smile. What if Kanish Crinkle doesn't like the Schmingerbread house you made? We are going to pretend we didn't hear that. Ah! Okay, look, let's just look at the pretty falling snow. Do, 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 do. Go away, bad thoughts. Go away. Careful with that, son. Remember I told you that? I don't understand this autism thing, Pop. Here's my son. I talk to him. I don't even know if he can hear me. Ah, oh, no problem, buddy. Hey, take good care of cousin. Rada, rada. Merry Christmas. Rada, rada, rada. Rada, rada, rada. Rada, rada, rada. Rada, rada, rada. Hey, Schnitzel. Rada, rada, rada. Rada, Hey, Schnitzel. Rada, 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 rada. Rada, rada, Hey, Schnitzel. Rada, rada, rada. Rada, rada. So maybe you should shut We got lots of shopping to do! <gasps> the Red Rider 200 shot range model air rifle. You will be mine! Oh, there he is! Hey, pal! Double cheeked up on a Thursday afternoon, hella ass. Mom, Mom, I know the right watch for Kanishmas! What, baby? What is it? <laughs> That's kind of pricey. I don't have the money to buy it this year. Why would you buy it? Ganesh Creek is going to bring it to me. Because I've been a good boy. Yes, sir. <laughs> Gotta get to Ganesh Creek. Hey, Pudge. Where are you going? Oops. I mean, where are you not going? <laughs> cut that out now, or you'll go home in an ambulance. I'm gonna tell Ganesh Blinger's Crinkle what I want! Ganesh Blinger's Crinkle? Get a picture with Ganesh Blinger's Crinkle himself! Memory 
babies are made here. Five dollops. Who's up? Who's up? Only babies believe in Kanish. Look, Nerf Crinkle. Yeah, uh Then why is he sitting in Gaspacho's booth? Buy my peppermint beans. Hi, Taco Bell. Yes, are you hiring today? Oh, great. I will be down there in Fluff Application. Thank you. One glass of my Schlitz can change a lot of people's minds. No one opens the door! Uh-uh. Oh, I'll never get there! It's 100% that bitch. Why are you here killing our Kanishma spirit? And I've... Oh, I'm levitating. Oh, fly away with me tonight. Mama's getting horny. <laughs> I'm getting horny. I'm in a fire hot enough to roast that beef. Shout it. Oh, hey, num nums. I can hear the bells. Can you? Be gone, demon! I need to concentrate on waiting in line! Do you know what you're asking Kanish Volknir Crinkle for? I know what I'm asking for. <laughs> I'm not your boyfriend! Come on, line move! Oh, honey. Monk screws up his Schminger bread house every year. He's a hot mess. That ain't been enough! Tara, you didn't hear that! Go tell Gaspacho what you want! Kanish Volknir Crinkle! R right, Kanish Volknir Crinkle, whatever! Whee! Woman, you are one giant lump of I have mad schminger bread skills. Mark my words, this will be Tala's best Kanishmas ever. Ah, uh, humbug. All right, who's next? Come on up. I am. Rattle. Whoa, big boy. sound ridiculous i don't know who this man is i mean he could be walking down the street i wouldn't i wouldn't know a thing sorry to this man give me a hand to commence the pinky swear ritual uh Ch chestnut please officiate the ceremony dinkaloo dinkalee officiating is what chestnut be dinkaloo dinkalee the cult will be under your tree That and my Doctor Who TARDIS six inch Funko Pop. Oh, my rather! No, Mom, this is gonna be different because it's my destiny to have that cult. I believe in you, Mom. Believe in love after love. I can feel something inside me say, I really don't think you're strong enough. No. <laughs> Child is right. This time I'm gonna make a schminger bread house that'll knock the drawers off Knish or your crinkle. Yay! Alrighty! Who's ready to start building? I am, I am, I am, I am! Chowder, didn't I tell you to go change into your work clothes? Oh yeah, I forgot. Everyone, gather around. 
I've drawn up some blueprints of the gingerbread house that we're building. Wrong drawing. Here we go. Ah, my eyes are bleeding. Rattle, 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 rattle. I know, I know. I said I was gonna throw it away. My bad. Ah, uh, what do you say we start the Spinger Bread song already? Cool. Welcome back. I missed you. I really did. You ready for some more? Good! Okay, Schnitzel, I think we got it! It's no use. Knish missed this room, and it's all Schnitzel's fault. Rattle! Rattle, 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 rattle! Why don't you swallow your coke and just go buy a gingerbread house? No, never! My coke is too big to swallow! I can't believe it's come. Hey, it's Monk! So, Monk doll, what brings you to my humble abode? <laughs> I'd like to buy a gingerbread house. <laughs> I'm sorry. What was that? I'd like to buy me bread. Could you repeat that? And this time into the camera, please, for posterity. I'd like to buy a sh and wow, you'll be saying wow every time. Oh, Mong doll. You have no idea how long I've been waiting for this moment. Take your house and go. Next. No. I can't let him swallow his cock. It's too big to swallow. I gotta do something. Come on, we gotta get to Kanish. Look at Strinkle. He's the only one that can help Mom. Live the dream. Touch the dream. Touch it. I can't go on. I feel bummed. Num num? Hang on. The power of love will get us there. And so Mother says, well, if you want more gravy on your cereal, you gotta make it yourself. Now do I look like a guy who knows how to make gravy? Well, do I? C can I please go now? <laughs> oh, Nakedness Crinkle, hear my plea! When the bathing suit came off, it was these big pendulous balls, but instead of a dick, it was a small brown scab. And I had to blow them, I wanted to, and I just licked around the scab. That's my Knishmas wish! <laughs> I can't do it anymore! <laughs> Come true. <laughs> Mother was right. We can use Kanish Crinkle's lifeless skin sack as a costume and pretend we're him. This costume is too big. We're gonna need a third person to help. What? <laughs> Ow, what? 
chocolate chowder. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't come. Well, why did you come? Chowder's intense body heat. My plan's perfect. I've got it all plotted out on this diagram right here. <laughs> okay, since I can't move my arms, I'm going to describe it instead. Do I really look like a guy with a plan? You know what I am? I'm a dog chasing cars. I wouldn't know what to do with one if I caught it. You know, I just do things. Then we're gonna eat some breakfast. Then we should go to the bathroom. Then we should flush. If you deliberately sabotage my band, I will fuck you like a pig. I can explain. Chowder, why did you eat the smidge of bread house? Sometimes things that are expensive are worse. Knishmas is supposed to make everyone feel like garbage. Awful, awful garbage. And that's the true meaning of Knishmas. Thanks for helping, Gorgonzola. I want you to have this coat to keep you warm. I made it out of eyelashes. So... 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 Welcome aboard Delta Flight 2928 to Atlanta, and thank you for flying Delta. Well, I guess everyone got what they wanted for Kanishmas. But what about you? Red Ryder 200 shot range model air rifle. Oh, that's okay. There's always next year, right? I'll be an even better boy. And you'll make an even better Spencer bread house. That way, Kanish and your crinkle will be happy with us all. A year isn't really that long, right? <laughs> 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 Well, story, Jeffy. Don't you feel better for having watched it? I know I do. Okay, well, have a very Merry Christmas! Wow, that was a that was a ride. Um, but uh, we made it through the entire Christmas special. We did it. We did it, Joe. You're gonna be in this present. Thank you for coming along with me. Uh, I hope you have a happy holiday. I had a great time watching this. I hope you did too. Uh, and if you didn't, then 